In today's video, I would like to show you how can you detect phishing emails. Now, before we get started, it's very important to explain what phishing is. Now, phishing is basically a cyber attack in which attackers send bunch of emails or a personalized email to one person asking them to click on a certain link or download a file. And when they click on a link, they might enter their personal information or credit card information or might run a file on their computer, which might lead to a full compromise of the person's machine. Now, there are multiple ways to detect a phishing attack. For example, by checking whether the email address is legitimate or not, checking whether there are any misspelling or not, whether there are greetings with first names or last names, and whether the links that are embedded in the email are legitimate links or not. But this might be time consuming and what I would like to show it to you today is a tool that will make this process much easier for you. I would like to show you multiple resources that you can use that will assist you to determine whether the email address that you have received is a legitimate email or not. Detecting phishing emails is a very important skill that you can have to protect your information and your company from hacking. Now, with that being said, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is to go to a website called fishtool.com and this is a free website that you can use. They have an enterprise version, but you don't need this if you are using it for yourself or to protect yourself from phishing emails. So after you visit this website, you need to create an account and log into your account. After you log into the account, you need to click on analysis. After this, you need to download the email that you have received and you think that it is a phishing email and then upload it to Fish Tool. So in my case, I have already got an email and I'm going to analyze this one. So this will basically assist me checking whether this email address is legitimate or not. And it's pinpointing two things. The first one, which is the return path and the second one, which is the SPF record. Now, this is how the email looks like. And one of the things that I always look for is whether the email address that I have received is an image or a text. So even if we try to select the text, we won't be able to do this because this is a picture. And we can see that this email has been sent from this domain. And this has nothing to do with this company at all. We don't even know what company this is. We can, of course, search for this address and check whether there is a company with this name or not. But we can see that this is a very random email address, which is likely suspicious. If you would like more details, you can click on from and see why it is flagged in yellow. If you have looked at the return path, we can see that the return path is not the same email address that sent this email. So this might be suspicious. You can also read more details about this. Now, this person uses Etsy mail server to get emails back. And I believe that this email does not exist at all. If we went to security, we can see that we have a fail where SPF record is. Now an SPF record determines which IPs or which email addresses are authorized to send an email on behalf of the mail server. So we can see that this is a foreign IP that does not belong to mail Etsy.com. So if we have clicked on fail, we can see that this SPF record published on the mail Etsy server has a policy that designates the IP address as not permitted. So I believe that they have a white list of the IPs that they are allowed to send email from and any other IP shouldn't receive or send an email. And we can see here that the IP address that is permitted to send emails is 192.147, etc which uses Mailjet as their email marketing tool. Now, if we hovered over this email, we can see at the bottom left an IP address, which is the IP address that we are going to be forwarded to once we click on this email. Another thing that you can do, which is come back to the headers information, and then you can copy the email address and go to a website called Fish Tank. So once you copy the domain name, of the email of the sender, you can put it in here and check whether this is a fish email or not. We can click on here and we can see that nothing has been found in this database. 
what you can also do is hover over the picture or the link and then get the full URL and add it in here to check whether it's been reported by somebody else. Now let's analyze another email that I have received which landed in my spam folder but I don't know whether it's a phishing email or not. So I'm going to click on choose file and choose another email which is this one which promised me to win a million dollar by participating in this so the first thing that we can see is that we have a reply to email that does not match with the email that have sent this email this is not a bad thing the only thing that you need to make sure of is when you go to security for example and check if there is anything that is in red and then you can read more about it but even if you have got red warning signs etc you still need to analyze the email address so you cannot rely on this tool to do everything for you it will only assist you to check whether this email is a phishing email or not but does not give you a an answer whether this email is a fake email or not so let's come back and copy this domain name and add it in here and see whether we are going to get anything or not and we can see that we have got nothing let me remove customer mail from here and then click on this and check the result that we are going to get and we can see that this is not a phishing site we can also go to url scan and check whether the url that we are going to get is a fake url or not so we can copy the full url from here like this and add it in here and check to which pages we are going to be redirected to for now we can see a screenshot of the content of this link we can also see other information so let me click on this and see whether we're going to get the same or not and we can see here that we can log in and redeem our points to get an xbox so let me click on this link so i'm going to copy the link and open a new tab and enter it and see what's going to happen and you can see that we have been redirected to a Microsoft or a Bing page that we can use to redeem our points to get some gifts. And we can see that this is a legitimate domain name. So if we went to fish tank like this and check for it, we can see that it is not a phishing site. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new. If you have tried the method that I have talked about in this video, please let me know in the comment section. And if you know any other techniques to uncover phishing emails then please let me know in the comment section so that we can cover them in future videos with that being said thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon